Woohoo! I never thought this day was gonna come. <laughs> I guess I can take that off. We're parked. Um, we meeting me and Taylor Swift. Um, hi there! A very exciting video today. Taylor Swift. I got on my um folklore cardigan and I thought it was only fitting to wear this because I finally got in the mail the cardigan single with the songwriting voice memo. There it is. Who's excited? Me. I think with this CD we're gonna hear some of the songwriting process of Taylor's. I'm very excited for it. I'm very here for it and I'm going to listen to it for the first time with you in this video here right now in this random parking lot if you are swifty um hi my name is andrea you've come to the right place you've clicked on the right video you've come across the right channel yes i love taylor swift with all my well-being it would mean so much to me if you hit the subscribe button down below or gave this video a thumbs up so how this all went down basically my friends andrew and shannon we did a little collab order so i think andrew ordered his cardigan and three of us all bought these cds so this cd with the cardigan single and the voice memo was five dollars it was off the taylor swift website the official taylorswift.com but it took forever to get here we ordered this on july 28th we ordered it together to like save money on shipping you know as swifties do like literally release week we ordered this and it's here now in october but you know i'm not gonna complain about the shipping i mean we all know shipping's been a little weird lately everyone's doing the best they can from my basic knowledge of it it sounds like all their merch and stuff wasn't pre-made so we're kind of waiting months like this and it kind of stinks because you pay all this money and you don't see it for a long time and kind of like Loverfest. I paid all that money. Don't know when I'll see it again. <laughs> I'm opening it. I'm opening it. Let me give you some details. That's what it looks like. Our girl Taylor on the back. This is what the back looks like and i'll read it to you thank you for all the love you've shown folklore it's been the most magical creative adventure of my life thus far and i wanted to share with you a recording of how it all started is that what it says started yeah the first recording i ever sent to aaron for cardigan including the original lyrics ly there's different lyrics and lots of rambling oh we love rambling i love you guys so much ts i love you too taylor all right let's crack this baby open there she is that's what it looks like a nice little picture of taylor any mysterious 13s no this is what's inside for those that are curious a piece of paper that's it just a piece of paper there's nothing wild about it let's put this in the cd player and get this party started Woo! I think track one is just Cardigan the song, so let's see. I'm just gonna listen to this to get the vibe, you know? There's a guy across the parking lot. Staring. Whatever. We love cardigan. Obviously, I've heard that too. I don't know if I said that before, but obviously. Now, I think we're gonna move into the voice memo portion, how she wrote the song. Let's hear it, I think. Hey, so first of all, I'm Hi. obsessed with like, but anyway, the first one that I uh, was working something up for is the maple one. And what? I came up with this. This is just like a rough uh, thing. Brand new this is so wild. I use on cobblestones, hand under my sweatshirt, baby kiss it better. When you are young, they but was this called Maple originally? Living in a gold age, sneak into my birdcage. Living in a gold age? Breaking every damn rule. I love that. Why am I screaming? Why am I screaming? Oh my god. And then I have like this, there's like a break because I don't really know what's gonna happen. I think it's here. It's where I was putting a, a bridge thing. 
and see kissing cars. Now I'm bleeding. Oh, so different. Bleeding. We'll work on that and not make it bad. And then. <laughs> um, this is so I don't cool. I think it's right now. But here it is. Peter leaving Wendy. Leaving Wendy. But I knew you'd lingered like a stolen kiss. I knew you'd stolen kiss. I'd wish you would have changed your mind. I knew you'd miss me once the moment died. Did I lose my mind? <gasps> uh, and uh, that's just kind of like a rough idea of something. Let me know if you like it. Okay. <laughs> Let's unpack that. Wow. Okay. So, what we've learned was the song was so different. I personally felt like listening to the voice memo brought more meaning to the song for me. It's sad. It's a really sad song. I guess from a songwriting perspective too, it's kind of like what made her change it. You know what I mean? Like that second verse, I loved but she changed it. Why'd she change it? I guess it's just like whatever she likes better thinks people will enjoy more, right? And also, if you didn't know that was a voice memo, it sounded like she sent to Aaron Dessner. It sounds like he maybe like laid down the track and she just like put the lyrics over it, which is just like wild to me that people can do that, like hear a beat and like make up words that are so poetic and beautiful like that. Oh, she's just so talented. I don't know, I kind of liked some of the lyrics more, but I also wonder if I heard that version, if I would like the cardigan we know better, you know what I mean? I think that is just like the magic of Taylor Swift, right, is that she is this like, really incredible genius songwriter and just any peek into like her songwriting process is so interesting i've been thinking about her a lot lately um because i am filming a billboard music award reaction tonight taylor has just sustained such a well-known well done poised career and like not a lot of artists you know you see year after year after year after year at these award shows like taylor taylor has been in the business for 13 years now something like that like she knows what she's doing she's very talented she knows her strong point is her songwriting no one can do it like t swift okay <laughs> and i think that just continues to be everyone's fascination with her is just her ability to come up with these lyrics they connect so deeply with us and that i know at least for me and i know it's for other people is why I love Taylor Swift so much because her lyrics make me feel understood, like I'm not alone, like there's other people out there who are going through similar things than me. It was so interesting to hear that voice memo. I'm really happy I bought it and waited and got to listen to it. Cardigan also broke so many records like so many. Good for Cardigan. We love that song. I will say it's not my favorite on the album but it's definitely you know well done like you have to applaud it because it's so well written so yeah subscribe like uh let me know in the comments what your favorite folklore song today is because today mine is probably illicit affairs which was low ranking but is very high up on my list today so yep that's what it's looking like um, but again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>